The research that uh, we were doing was on why customers might be attracted to a product even though the product that they're getting is not as good to them as to somebody else. There are many products that, are, that marketers are selling that have this quality that customers can't really tell quality by direct inspection. Just think about all the things you buy where you have a hard time in the store telling what's high and low quality. Take products like wine or some financial services products, for example, or medical care, etc. All those are things where you really can't tell quality by direct inspection. But if you think there's some other group of people that are out there who can tell quality when they see it, then a marketer who um, promoted to those, that expert group would actually wind up um, attracting the business of the non-experts. We had undergraduate students at Duke, we had master's students at Duke um, take part in these experiments and we would ask them to choose between two products, say. In one case it was two drills, where one drill had a promotion that appealed to them, one drill a promotion that did not appeal to them. And in each case, we found that we could get these participants to choose the product with a promotion that they didn't like if they had no idea about the quality of the product. But if they had an idea about the quality of the product, then they chose the product that was associated with the promotion that they preferred. So what we find is that there, there's value in a promotion to um, a target group of experts that actually attracts the non-target non-experts.